Researchers took to the sky Wednesday in search of data, data contained in radio collars that were fixed to several bobcats and lynxes in the South Okanagan and Similkameen this winter. The research aims to explain how the two species interact in the context of climate change by tracking the location of the cats through different habitats. This is actually the third year we've been doing this. The, we ran a pilot test the first year just to see if it could be done. And, uh, and we've collared uh, 11 cats th just this past winter. So most of that was between uh, November last year and February of this year. And the collars were designed to drop off in early October. Um, and some of the collars, as I say, have malfunctioned a bit. Not that they haven't collected data, but the drop-off mechanism that just allows the collar to fall off the animal at a, after a specified time has failed. So, so it's those cats that we really want to locate so we can get those colors back. The aircraft is fitted with radio antennas which can receive the blasts sent out by the callers, but airplanes are expensive and this one and its pilot has been donated by Lighthawk, a volunteer group out of the states that donates time and planes to conservation projects. I like to fly, but more importantly, I'm very active in the outdoors. I'm a whitewater boater, I'm a hiker, and, and that, and I, I see that this is a way that I can give back a little bit. Now, it's not cheap to operate an aircraft, uh, uh, but then again, it's something that I can help with because otherwise organizations um, such as it Al works with uh, would not be able to have the aerial observation of either the animals or the the area that may be endangered by fish habitat. So looking up from the sky is, is much more effective. The data collected will hopefully help forest managers better manage habitat requirements for the big cats. For Castanet in Penticton, I'm Colin Dacre.